It's time for HBU Huskies Baseball. This is HBU Huskies Baseball. On your home for Houston Baptist University Athletics, the Husky Sports Network. The Husky Sports Network is powered by the Legacy Sports Network. And HBU Baseball is brought to you by these corporate partners of HBU Athletics. Houston Federal Credit Union. The Memorial Hermann Healthcare System. Pepsi. IBEW Local 716. Firehouse Subs. Kalachi Factory. HUB International. And Double Tree Suites Hotels. Now it's just about time for the first pitch, so let's go out to the ballpark and get ready for HBU Huskies Baseball. And good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the rubber match of this three-game Southland Conference Series between your HBU Huskies and the New Orleans Privateers. I'm Russ Renault. Thanks for joining us here on the HBU Baseball pregame show on YouTube. We'll have all the action coming up for you around the corner. That'll be left-hander Brian Warzik going for the Privateers and right-hander Brady Batten for the Huskies here in Game 3 of this series. Privateers won Game 1 yesterday, 8-1. to one. Huskies came back behind a complete game performance by Matthew McCullough for a 5-2 to two victory in Game 2, setting up this rubber match in Game 3. When we come back on the HBU Baseball pregame show, we will take a look around the Southland Conference, get to the starting lineups, then we're on to the first pitch. You're watching Huskies Baseball here on the Husky Sports Network. Flavorful. Let Houston Federal Credit Union be there for all the stages of your life. Take advantage of our products and services to help you with all your financial milestones, such as purchasing a car, buying a home, and planning for retirement. We're the credit union that will always have your back and helps you save money along the way. Houston Federal Credit Union is the official credit union of HBU. Experience the credit union difference today. Stop by any of our convenient locations or visit our website, HoustonFCU.org. It's our time. It's our time. To refresh the world. We're making a connection. Giving you stimulation. Full of compassion. The Empower Generation. We make a difference and we live out loud. We have a serious stand apart from the crowd. The Empower Generation. The Empower Generation. Pepsi, refresh your world. Russ Renault back here on the HB Baseball pregame show. And time now to get to the starting lineups. First four visiting New Orleans, 20 and 28 overall, 9 and 14 in the Southland Conference under head coach Blake Dean. Leading off the DH, Colin Morrill. Batting second at third base, Owen McGee. Batting third in right field is Pierce Howard. Batting clean up the center fielder, Oren Bayon. Batting fifth and catching is Bo Bratton. Batting sixth in left field is Jay Robinson. Batting seventh at first base is Scott Crabtree. Batting eighth and playing second base is Devin Morrill. Batting ninth, the shortstop Darren Willis. And on the mound today for the Privateers is left-hander Brian Warzik. And for HBU, 22 and 25 overall, 14 and 9 under head coach Jared Moon. Leading off and playing shortstop is Tyler Depreta Johnson. Batting second in center field is Jonathan Dukoff. Batting third in left field is Spencer Haller and batting cleanup the right fielder Matt Heck. Batting fifth at first base is Jake Fulshawn. Batting sixth, the DH, Jake Scott. Batting seventh and playing third base is Elijah Simone. Batting eighth and catching is Eric Bowler. And batting ninth, the second baseman Jack Fitzgerald. On the mound today for the Huskies is junior right-hander Brady Batten. Let's take a look at the Southland Conference standings after last night's games. Sam Houston State is 19-3. Southeastern Louisiana is now 17-8. Central Arkansas, 14-8. Huskies fall to fourth, now 14-9. Incarnate Word, 12-9. McNeese is 14-11. Northwestern State, 11-10. Nichols, 9-12. New Orleans, 9-14. Lamar, 9-15. Texas a Corpus Christi, 7-15. Stephen F. Austin, 6-15. And, and Abilene Christian is 5-17. Take a look at the scores from last night around the league. Central Arkansas defeating Amelie Christian 10-3. Texas A&M Corpus Christi defeated McNeese 
And Sam Houston State defeated Southeastern Louisiana 5-3 and TCU over Lamar in a non-conference game 2-0. Northwestern State at Incarnate Word was postponed, as was Nichols at Stephen F. Austin. We we're just about ready for the first pitch, so we'll take a break for the National Anthem. Then we'll come back with all the action right here on the Husky Sports Network. Whether you're just one person or a big group of 30, you're still a proud Texan. You don't want your highways dirty. So pick up roadside litter with your church group or track team. Your business or your book club, everybody keeps it clean. And when people ask you what you're doing, you can say, I'm going the extra two miles for Texas. I'm adopting a highway, end up with blue bonnets, or beside a big corn crop, a sunset biggest Texas, or a cottontail that hops. So take your stretch of highway and make it look first class. The people will be smiling when their cars and trucks go past. And don't be too surprised if you hear somebody say, Thanks for going the extra two miles for Texas and adopting a highway. Texas was the first to develop and adopt a highway program. Learn how you can adopt at don'tmesswithtexas.org. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation. All right, everybody. If this one doesn't get your toes tapping, check your pulse. Here it is, coming to you in living cola. Refreshing Pepsi Cola. From the wonderful folks who put the R in cola. I'll be signing off now, because it's my bedtime. I'll catch you on the flip side. Be there. Rolling up on a cheap price feels good, but cheap comes with risk. Heart surgeons, pilots, no one hires a cheap one of them. Fact is, certain things must be done right. Installing electricity in Houston schools and hospitals needs to be built with manpower that spent 10,000 hours training to do their job. So for heart surgeons to do their job, we must do ours. Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. You've been listening to HBU Husky Sports on the Husky Sports Network, powered by the Legacy Sports Network. These broadcasts are brought to you by the corporate sponsors of HBU Athletics, including Houston Federal Credit Union, the Memorial Hermann Healthcare System, Pepsi, Geico, Raising Canes, Kalachi Factory, and IBEW Local 716. That's going to wrap it up for now. So until we see you next time, so long and dogs up. What's it mean for the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local 716, to send someone to your job site? It means electricians that pass basic trigonometry, calculus, or algebra are sent to your job site. It means electricians familiar with OSHA compliance are sent to your job site. It means IBW electricians made a conscious decision to improve their life and the lives of others. What does it mean? It means everything. To be the best, hire the best. The time is now to hire IBEW. At Raising Cane's, we know lots of people want the recipe for our delicious cane sauce. But we'll take the secret to our graves. You know, our founder, Todd Graves. He's the guy who figured out which blend of spices makes every drop of sauce totally tasty. Of course, it helps that our cane sauce is made fresh every single day, no matter what. And Todd's also the guy who won't spill a secret recipe. But you can dip in it all you like. Raising Cane's, one love. And welcome to a beautiful Saturday afternoon in Houston, Texas and Husky Field for the rubber match of this three-game Southland Conference Series between your HBU Huskies and the New Orleans Privateers. I'm Russ Renault welcoming you in on the Husky Sports Network. Thanks for joining us on YouTube and HBUHuskies.com. So on the mound today for the Huskies is junior right-hander Brady Batten. 
Brady's six foot, 195 pounds from Bryan, Texas, Rudder High School, Northeast Texas Community College. Brady making his 13th appearance, 11th start, three and four with a 3.22 ERA. He's given up 27 runs, 24 earned on 56 hits with 54 strikeouts and 28 walks in 67 innings. To lead it off for the Privateers, the junior designated hitter Colin Morrill. It's from Jacksonville, Florida, St. John's River State. Morrill hitting 274 with 12 doubles, two triples, a home run, 20 RBIs, and 36 runs scored. Brady Batten set to deliver the first pitch and is down low for ball one. Morrill yesterday in game two went two for four. Had a double and scored a run. Went two for five with a triple and RBI and two runs in game one. There's a strike on the inside corner. It's one and one. Umpires for today's game. Greg Tucker behind the plate. Ron Teague at first base and Matt Martinez at third. Pitch misses just up and in. Two and one. It was mostly sunny right before the game time and just before the first pitch clouds rolled in so cloud covering right now and there's a ground ball on the left side to Preda Johnson with the throw over to first for the first out. So here's the defense for the Huskies. Jake Pulshan at first base, there Jack Fitzgerald at second, Tyler DePreda Johnson at shortstop, Elijah Simone at third, Spencer Halloran in left field, Jonathan Dukoff in center, Matt Heck in right and Eric Voller doing the catching. That'd be senior third baseman Owen McGee from Metairie, Louisiana. Hitting 328, 13 doubles, three triples, five home runs, 30 RBIs, 27 runs scored, and takes ball one up high. McGee one for four in game two yesterday, two for five with an RBI in game one. And that pitch is up and in, and it's 2-0. Oh. 80 degrees at game time, wind blowing in, about six miles per hour from the north. Here's the 2-0 pitch. And off the fist, and it's fouled away. Dimensions here at Husky Field. 330 down the lines. 380 in the gaps. 405 to straightaway center. It's the largest ballpark in the Southland Conference. Dimension-wise. That pitch misses down low, and it's 3-1. Batten winds and deals. And that is in there for a strike on the inside corner. A little delayed strike call from Greg Tucker. So now the count's full. One out and the base is empty. Just underway here at Husky Field. Payoff pitch on the way. And this one driven in to center. Dukoff coming in, but that'll fall in for a base hit. And that'll be right freshman right, right fielder Pierce Howard. Howard. It's from Silver Spring, Maryland, Liberty Christian Academy. Howard hitting 288, eight doubles, a triple, six home runs, 29 RBIs, 24 runs scored. Two for four in game two yesterday, two for five with the run scored in game one. Pitch is down and in, and it's 1-0. and Pitch just misses up and in, and it's 2-0. and Duo pitch is in there for a strike. Brady was outstanding last Sunday against Northwestern State, going seven innings in a 3-2 Huskies victory. Gave up two runs, four hits, struck out ten.
two on pitch on the way. Swung on and missed. To even the count. A career high in strikeouts here during his HBU career. Two two pitch down and in, and the count goes full. Payoff pitch is fouled back. Count remains three and two on Howard. Both teams in royal blue tops today. Huskies white pants with a blue pinstripe and the thicker orange and blue pinstripe down the side. It's a ground ball that's fouled on the right side. Huskies royal top with the orange HBU and block letters across the front. Military Appreciation Day caps with the tan camo and the blue bill. Privateers gray pants, royal blue tops. Privateer logo on the chest and all blue caps. Another pitch that's spoiled. And the count remains three and two. Batten with another 3-2. A foul tip that Bowler holds on to. Oh, he couldn't hold on to it. Thought he had it. Looked like he had it in his glove, but couldn't hang on. And count still full. There's a foul tip into the mitt. So Batten finally gets a strikeout on Howard. Ground number two. Here's junior center fielder Oren Vagnon. From Lafayette, Louisiana. Transferred from LSU Eunice. Oren hitting 273 with 10 doubles, a triple, three home runs, 17 RBIs, 21 runs scored. Fouls off the first pitch on the right side. Vagnon went one for four. Two run homer in game two yesterday. That tied up the game in the sixth inning. Huskies came back to score three runs in the bottom half to go on to a 5 2 victory. They went one for four, drove in a run, and scored a run in game one. The 0 1 pitch from Batten is up high. Throw down to first. The runner back in. Seen a lot more back pick throws from Eric Voller in this series. One one pitch. Slider that misses up high. Two one. This one driven into right center field, and that's going to split the gap and go all the way to the wall. McGee being waved home, he will score, and Vayon is into third with a stand-up triple to put the Privateers ahead, one nothing. Fourth. Excuse me. Make that second triple of the season. 18th RBI for Vayon. That third with two outs. UNO now on top, one nothing. Your sophomore catcher, Bo Bratton. It's from Biloxi, Mississippi. It's hitting 304 with nine doubles, four triples, two home runs, and there's a chopper towards third. Simone fires to first in time for the out. The Privateers lead at one nothing. So we go to the bottom of the first here on the Husky Sports Network. story is I'm in here every morning and uh, in 
could sample just about every kolache that they make here. Bacon, egg, and cheese on wheat for me, and then the rest is for the office. So, yes, I'll pick up every Friday. I'll stop by here and pick up some for my group. So. Well, I used to think it was just fruit-filled stuff, and then I came here, and there's eggs and bacon and cheese and all kinds of good stuff in there. It's like a whole breakfast and a bun. It's great. <laughs> It's always a good thing if you can eat healthy and not know it. <laughs> when you drive down the street looking for something to eat, you're going to pass five places to buy a sandwich, six places to buy a burger. There's only one place you can get a kolache, and that's Kolache Factory. It's delicious. You're going to have people that try to copy you, but they're not going to do it as well. We know what we're doing. We've been doing it for 25 years. We do it the best, and our success proves that. Houston's own Kolache Factory, the freshest, highest quality, best-tasting kolaches in town. Over 50 Houston area locations and a proud partner of HBU Athletics. We go to the bottom of the first inning with UNO scoring a run in the top half on the RBI triple by Oren Bayon. On the mound today for UNO is junior left-hander Brian Warzik. Six foot, 205 pounds from Clifton Park, New York. Warzik making his 12th start. He's 2-2 two two with a 3.21 ERA. He's given up 29 runs, 24 earned on 51 hits. 97 strikeouts leads the Southland Conference. 32 walks in 67 and one-third innings. Plenty of scouts in attendance here today. One of the biggest contingents of scouts we've ever seen here at Husky Field to watch Warzik. Leading it off for the Huskies will be Tyler Depreta Johnson, Jonathan Dukoff, and Spencer Halloran. Depreta Johnson, senior shortstop from Rancho Santa Margarita, California, Tribuco Hills High School. For your Huskies, the shortstop, number three, Tyler DePreta Johnson. DePreta Johnson hitting 247 with eight doubles, four home runs, 23 RBIs, and 25 runs scored. Yesterday, Tyler went two for three in game two, drove in a run and scored one. Doubled and scored in game one. Orzik with the slow windup and the pitch. First pitch is in there on the inside corner for strike one. That misses inside and it's one and one. Off-speed pitch on the outside corner, one and two. There's a ground ball, and that is back up the middle. Base hit for Tyler DePreta Johnson to lead it off for the Huskies here in the first inning. Morrill trying to make the sliding backhanded stop and couldn't come up with it. Knocked it down. Now it's Jonathan Dukoff, junior center fielder from Kingwood, Texas, and Kingwood Park High School. Hitting 280, nine doubles, seven home runs, 16 RBIs, 22 runs scored. Two run home run in. Game two yesterday, put the Huskies up 2 nothing. He went two for four. Drove in two and scored one yesterday. Swings and misses at strike one. Jonathan went 0 for four in game one yesterday, and that snapped a 12-game hitting streak, which had been the longest of the season by any Husky. Now head coach Jared Moon in the third base coach's box running through the signs. Volunteer assistant coach Brent Schmidt over at first, and Dukoff squares the bunt, bunts it out in front of the plate. Play is to first to get Duke off of the out and the sacrifice to move to Preda Johnson up to second. 
Left fielder number 14, Spencer Halloran. That'll be senior left fielder Spencer Halloran. He's from Sheffield, Iowa, in West Fork High School. Hitting 319, 14 doubles, 8 home runs, 33 RBIs, and 35 runs scored. Yesterday, Spencer 0 for 3 in game 2. Went 1 for 4 in game 1. That's down and in, blocked by Bratton. So here's the defense for the Privateers. Crabtree at first. Devin Morrill at second base. Willis at shortstop. McGee at third. Robinson at left. Bayon in center. Howard in right. And Bratton doing the catching. And a breaking ball that misses low. 2-0 to Halloran. This one driven deep to center. Vayon drifting back, but that wind's blowing in. Makes the catch. Depreda Johnson tags. The throw to third is offline. But McGee backing up and making the catch. Orzik was over to help him out. Right fielder number five. With that wind blowing in and the dead center field here at Husky Field. Plenty of room for Vayon to make the catch. Now it's a runner at third with two outs and Matt Heck at the plate. Heck, senior right fielder from Midlothian, Texas, Midlothian High School. Hitting 364, nine doubles, four triples, nine home runs, 41 RBIs, and 28 runs scored. Bring pitches up and away. 1-0. That one's also high. Heck came into the series tied for the league lead in home runs. Nine homers, second in RBIs with 41. That pitch is inside, and it's 3-0. Fires a fastball in there for strike one. The 3 1 pitch, and Heck fouls it away for a full count. Three two pitch is up and away. And walk issued to Heck. Puts runners on the corners first with two outs for Jake Pulshan. Senior first baseman from Menifee, California, California Military Institute. Hitting 232 with four doubles. Two home runs, 25 driven in, and 15 runs scored. Jake 0 for 4 in game 2 yesterday, 1 for 4 in game 1. Huskies trailing 1 0, bottom of the first, two down and runners on the corners. Down and in, and a good stop by Bratton. There's a fastball that misses inside. 2 and 0. Oh.
McGee playing well back at third. Pull Sean fouls it off, and it's two and one. Runner goes from first. This one driven into left center field. Robinson going back, and he will make the catch. And that saved a couple of runs. That'll end the inning. We go to the second. UNO one, HBU nothing here on the Husky Sports Network. Coming to you in Living Cola. Pepsi Cola from the wonderful folks who put the R in Cola. Second inning here in Houston, UNO on top, one nothing. B.J. Robinson to lead it off for the Privateers. Made a nice play in left field to end the bottom of the first inning. Strand a couple of Husky base runners. Senior left fielder from Tallahassee, Florida, Florida State University School. Robinson hitting 236 with three doubles, two triples, a home run, 24 RBIs, 26 runs scored. First pitch from Batten, it's in there for a strike. Robinson 0 for 4, a couple of strikeouts in game two yesterday, and 2 for 4, the triple, an RBI, and two runs scored in game one. Ground ball down the third baseline, but foul. Robinson behind 0 and 2. Batten with the 0-2, and Robinson fights it all. Ground ball the other way. Found on the right side this time. Another 0-2 pitch and another foul ball. Batten's already thrown 30 pitches. It's a long at bat by Howard before Batten finally struck him out in the first inning. Now Robinson being tough with a no two count. Batten delivers. That one's up and in. Breaking ball chopped off of Robinson's shin. One, two, and a fastball low to even the count. Up, 
Fly ball to left. Haller in there, now coming in. Makes the catch for the first out. First baseman, the wind seven, blowing in. Crabtree. Seems to be playing with the ball a little bit. A Vayon and a fly ball in the bottom of the first inning. Took a strange route to it. And Halloran having to charge in on that one when he thought it was going to drift right to him. There's strike one to Scott Crabtree. Junior first baseman from Metairie, Louisiana, Jesuit High School. Slider misses low and it's one and one. Crabtree hitting 205. Two RBIs and a run scored, making his 13th start. Started all three games here in this series. 1-1 one, one pitch misses low. Went one for three and drew a walk in game two yesterday. 0 oh for two and drove in a run in game one. Ground ball to second. Fitzgerald has it. And the throw over to first for round number two. I bring up Devin Morrill. Second baseman, number 17, Devin Morrill. Senior second baseman from New Orleans, Louisiana. Hitting 196 with three doubles, eight RBIs, and 12 runs scored. Went 0 for 4, struck out three times in game two. 1 for 4, drove in a run. In game one, takes ball one from Patton. Up and in, 2-0. and oh. Pitches in there for strike one. Chopper off the plate, off the bat of Morrill. So it's a foul ball and a two and two count. Swings and fouls that one away to spoil it. Count remains two and two. Two outs, no money on. UNO leading one nothing, top of the second inning. Two two from Batten. The chopper foul into the Huskies dugout on the third base side. Two pitch, low and away. Now the count's full. Batten winds and delivers. This one driven into deep center field. Dukoff moving over, making the catch. For the third out of one, two, three inning. We go to the bottom of the second. UNO one, HBU nothing. Oh, here on the Husky that's Sports that's Network. Jimmy John, second inning. Recording artist Kevin Fowler. Oh, I love the sound of fast boats racing. Rooster tells a flying high. Love to hear all my ratty friends rocking, howling at the full moonlight. Love to see those fireflies buzzing, lighting up the southern sky. Yeah, I'm a hell being 100% Texan till I die. Like lots of 100% Texans, I love having a good time on the water. But remember, nobody's waterproof. Play it safe. Wear a life jacket and designate a driver for the boat and for a safe ride home. Follow these tips and there'll be a lot more days for you to play in this great state of Texas. Nobody's waterproof, yeah, that's a helmet truth, and you know it ain't no lie. Sponsored by Texas Parks and Wildlife.
Let me junior designated hitter Jake Scott to lead it off for the Huskies here in the bottom of the second. Jake from Huntington Beach, California, Edison High School. He's hitting 266 with two doubles, a triple, two home runs, 14 RBIs, and six runs scored. First time we've seen Jake start in this series. Fouls off the first pitch. Pinch hit in the first game yesterday. Went 0 for 1. A breaking ball low and away, 1 and 1. Curve ball misses low and inside. Two balls and a strike. Now the 2 1 from Warzik. Fastball swung on and missed. Here's a 2 2. Swung on and missed at a high fastball. That was up and out of the zone. Now there's one down. Here's Elijah Simone, sophomore third baseman from Angleton, Texas. Brazosport Christian High School. Hitting 256 with two doubles, a triple, four home runs, nine RBIs, 21 runs scored. Eli won for three and scored a run. In game two yesterday, can't check his swing there. And went 0 for 4 and struck out three times in game one. Curveball misses it down and in again. So fans on the UNO side arguing for that. And Bratton's pulling it back in. But it's well inside. That one's down and in for ball two. It's a curveball that breaks down and in. Bratton pulls it back to the inside corner. It's not fooling home plate umpire Greg Tucker. Just the fans on the first base side who can't see from that angle. There's a 2-1 two pitch. Simone fouls it away and it's 2-2. Two and two. The 2-2. Two -two. Misses away, and the count's full to Simone. Now the payoff pitch on the way, and it's down and in for ball four. Now I bring up Eric Voller. Junior catcher from Mission Viejo, California. Tribuco Hills High School is hitting 165 with three doubles, a triple, a home run, seven RBIs, 13 runs scored. An 0 for 3. Game 2 yesterday. Throw over to first. 0 for 2 and drew a walk in game 1. Pitch down and in. Bratton making another good stop on a fastball. That pitch comes quick down and in to the right-handed hitter. And Bratton has to dodge the feet and the bat. The hitter to make that catch. 
A lot more difficult than it actually looks. Bowler chops one foul, and it's one and one. One one pitch. Bowler swings and misses. Now the one two pitch is on the inside corner for strike three. the first second strikeout uh, of the game for Warzik both of them coming in this inning now here's Jack Fitzgerald senior second baseman from Mason City Iowa Newman Catholic High School a 213 with a double a triple three home runs 14 RBIs 15 run score Jack one for four with an RBI in game two yesterday 0 for two in game one that is inside for ball one Jack driving in a run in that three run bottom of the sixth inning in yesterday's game. Pitch is up and away, 2-0. Oh. Fitzgerald pops it foul. It's 2-1. Runner goes, the 2-1 pitch is high, the throw down to second, not in time. Simone got a great jump. Steals his sixth bag of the season. Puts a runner at second with two down and a 3-1 and one count on Fitzgerald. The 3-1 on the way, and that is down low for ball four. Third walk issued by Warzik. Struck Short out to this inning and walked to. We go back to the top of the order with Tyler Depreta Johnson. Let off the bottom of the first inning. The single off the second baseman, Morrill. Slapped one up the middle. Morrill tried to make a backhanded stop, but wound up kicking into center field for a base hit. It's the only hit of the game for the Huskies. Our runners at first and second, two down. Off-speed pitch misses up high, and it's 1-0. Down and in, 2-0. Oh. <laughs> 
Simone dancing off of second. Warzik got a little tired of it, spun towards second. There was nobody covering. Two O pitch. That misses down low for ball three. Warzik with a 3 0. It's right down the pipe for strike one. Simone at second, Fitzgerald at first. The 3 1 pitch. And a ground ball to short. Willis has it, flips it to second for the force out. And that'll do it for the Huskies here in the second. We go to the third, UNO 1, HPU nothing here on the Husky Sports Network. We know travel isn't what it used to be. By the time you get where you're going, you've been through it all. So what if you knew there was a hotel that understands how hard your journey's been? and spends all its time making up for it. At Doubletree by Hilton, with more than 325 wonderful destinations around the world, we welcome our guests with a warm chocolate chip cookie. Our cookie serves as a symbol of our commitment to turn every little detail of your stay into a delight. Preparing every comfort with care, making every touch special, and every gesture true. Giving that extra attention to the simple things. Bringing humanity back to business and leisure travel. So you can reconnect, Relax, play, focus, smile. Welcome to Doubletree by Hilton, where the little things mean everything. Top of the third inning here at Husky Field. It'll be Darren Willis to lead it off for New Orleans. Sophomore shortstop. It's from Metairie, Louisiana, Archbishop Ron Mall High School. Hitting 261 with a pair of doubles, a triple. 19 RBIs, 25 runs scored. First pitch from Brady Batten. It's down low for ball one. Ground ball, and that is fouled on the third baseline. Take a look at the Southland Conference scoreboard this half inning. Incarnate Word leading Northwestern State 7-5 to five in the top of the fourth. First game of a doubleheader between those two. That is in San Antonio. Stephen F. Austin leading Nichols 1-0 top of the third inning in Nacogdoches. It's also a doubleheader today. Ground ball to short. DePreta Johnson charging in. The throw in time for the first out. Designated hitter number 12, Colin Morrill. Later on today, just about to get underway actually, in about 15 minutes, Central Arkansas at Abilene Christian. At 3 o'clock, Southeastern Louisiana at Sam Houston State. At 3.30, Lamar is at TCU, and at 4 o'clock, McNeese is at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Go back to the top of the order, and Colin Morrill takes ball one up and in. Foul tip, and it's 1-1. One one. 50th pitch of the game for Batten, 31 event for strikes. Morrill grounded out to short to lead off the game. First time up. A line drive the other way and into left field for a base hit. Yeah. 
Third baseman number four, Owen McGee. So here's Owen McGee. Singled and scored in the first inning. Dropped a single into center field and came around to score on the two out triple by Oren Vaillant. Swings and misses through a fastball. Fly ball into center. Dukoff is there. Makes a catch for the second out. Now it's Pierce Howard. Right fielder number 35, Pierce Howard. Howard struck out in the first inning, but a 10 pitch at bat. Got the count full and fouled off four straight pitches. There's a throw down to first, and now it skips away from Pull Sean, but not far enough away for Morrill to advance to second. So an 0 and 1 count on Howard. Who said he. Ran the count full, fouled off four straight pitches before fouling one off into the mid of Voller for the strikeout. Fouls this one off and falls behind in the count 0 and 2. Two outs, runner on at first. Privateers leading the Huskies 1-0 here in the top of the third inning. Game three of the Southland Conference Series, two teams have split. Privateers 8-1 to one in Game 1 yesterday. Huskies coming back to win 5-2 to two in Game 2. Supposed to be a pretty good chance of rain yesterday afternoon and also today. And the forecast earlier this week looked terrible for today. But it couldn't be nicer outside. That's just the way these things go. You schedule a doubleheader and you get great weather. So pop up behind home plate. Looks like it's going to land right in front of me. Got over the press box. That wind blowing in carried it all the way over the press box. Count remains 0-2 on Howard. So it was pretty gloomy yesterday. It was overcast all day. A little bit of a drizzle, not during the game, but afterwards. Nothing to speak of. And today is just picture perfect. A lot of clouds, but a blue sky besides that. Another 0-2. Line drive to second. Fitzgerald misplays it and it bounces. That's going to be an error on Fitzgerald. Let it bounce, and then it got past him. Looked like he could have caught it on the line. And then couldn't find it. So runners at first and second for Oren Vaillant. Vaillant one for one, an RBI triple in the first inning. Fastball in there for a strike. It's 0 and 1. Foul ball away, and it's 0 and 2. Swing and a miss for strike three. And that'll get Batten out of the inning. Error doesn't cost me anything. We go to the bottom of the third at UNO 1 and HBU nothing here on the Husky Sports Network.
At Raising Cane's, we know lots of people want the recipe for our delicious cane sauce, but we'll take the secret to our graves. You know, our founder, Todd Graves. He's the guy who figured out which blend of spices makes every drop of sauce totally tasty. Of course, it helps that our cane sauce is made fresh every single day, no matter what. And Todd's also the guy who won't spill his secret recipe. But you can dip in it all you like. Raising Cane's, one love. A firefighter's duty. Fighting fires, rescuing citizens, performing copious kettlebell exercises, demands a daring degree of readiness, a degree of readiness achieved, eating fulfillingly flavorful firehouse subs. With premium carved meats and cheeses, steamed to tasty magnificence, then piled onto toasted rolls. Is your footwear connected to your pants? No, it's not. Because you're not a firefighter. But you can be ready like one. Firehouse Sub, the hero of all subs. Go to the bottom of the third inning. Be two, three, and four due up for the Huskies. Center fielder number and Jonathan Dukoff. Jonathan Dukoff. So a strike called on the knees on the inside corner. Jonathan with a sacrifice bunt back in the first inning. Breaking ball. That one misses inside. One and one. Fastball low and away, two and one. Dukov swings and misses. Now even the count up at two and two. Two two pitch. Ground ball foul. Just wide of third. Another 2 2 from Morzik. And Dukov fouls it off. That was the 50th pitch for Warzik. 25 have been for strikes. That one's down and in, and a full count to Dukov. the payoff pitch. Ground ball to short Willis backhands it. Throw over to first is low but dug out by Crabtree for out number one. Now here's Spencer Halloran. Left fielder number 14 Spencer Halloran. Flying out to center his first time up. Made great contact on it but with the wind blowing in today hung up there and now he's 0 for 1 and facing Warzik for the second time. Down and in for a strike at the knees.
Curveball misses inside. One one pitch. Even further down and in. Two and one. Fastball in the dirt. Three balls and one strike to Halloran. Halloran in with a fly ball. Second baseman Morrill underneath it. He makes the catch for the second out. Base is empty for Matt Heck with right two outs. Number five, Matt Heck. Heck walked his first time up in the first inning. <laughs> Swings and misses at strike one. Fouls that one away, and it's 0-2. Up and away with the fastball. Orzik winds and delivers. And a breaking ball misses high, and it's two and two. Two two pitch. Heck swings and misses. And one two three inning for Warzik. Three strikeouts now, and we go to the fourth inning. UNO 1, HBU nothing here on the Husky Sports hey, Network. Guys, today's sport inning is sponsored by Shipley Donuts. If you drive around in Texas, dude, you could be a polluter and that's just rude. But there's a way to help keep the air clean. Got to take care of your machine. It's the one with wheels, speedometer. This message goes out to both the sexes. Take care of your car, drive clean across Texas. Keep your engine tuned, keep air in the tires. Make friends with a mechanic, that's a guy with pliers. Please don't speed, that pollutes to the max. Don't sit there and I'll turn it off, relax. Read the paper, meditate. Combine errands if you can. Carpool, fill up with gas after dark when it's cool. If you see some car spitting out smoke, they're messing with the air, and that's no joke. The message is simple, it shouldn't perplex us. Take care of your car, drive clean across Texas. It doesn't matter if you drive a Ford or a Lexus. Take care of your car, drive clean across Texas. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation and the Texas Natural Resource Conservation Commission. Drive clean across Texas. Leading off the fourth for the Privateers, the catcher, number 24, Bo Bratton. Bo Bratton to lead it off against Brady Batten. And drives this one in to right. Heck is moving over, can't get there. It's off the wall. Bratton heading for second. Now takes a turnaround second. And will hold up there. Lead off double for Bratton. It's his 10th double of the season. Brings left up Jay Robinson. Two, Jay Robinson. Robinson flied out to left his first time up and let off the second inning.
Now comes up with the runner at second, nobody out. Top of the fourth inning. Privateers already leading one nothing. Squares the bunt. Pops it up the third baseline. Simone's going to have to field it. Throws to first. The runner moves over to third on the sacrifice. Brings up Scott Crabtree. First baseman, number seven, Scott Crabtree. Crabtree grounded out to second in the second. Infield in for the Huskies with a runner at third. And one out. Fly ball to center. That'll be deep enough to score the runner. Dukoff makes the catch. And Bratton comes home, and the Privateers lead it 2-0. Two outs in the bases empty Second for Devin Morrill. 17, Devin Morrill. Morrill flying out to center to end the second inning. His first time up. Pops this one up on the right side. Pull Sean. Will not have room as that one drifts out of play. Slider hits the inside corner. It's 0-2. Slider in there for strike three. But the Privateers score another run on a hit. Lead it 2 nothing as we go to the bottom of the fourth here on the Husky Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. Leading off for your Huskies, the first baseman, number 40, Jake Pulshan. Here's Jake Pulshan to lead it off against Brian Morzik here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Jake flying out to left center field to end the first inning. A good play by Jake Robinson sprinting over. That one got down. Huskies might have scored a pair of runs that inning, but nonetheless, Robinson made the catch to keep that from happening. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Fouled away and it's 0-2 to pull Sean. Breaking ball and Pulshawn couldn't lay off of it. Fourth strikeout of the game for Warzik for out number one here in the bottom of the fourth. Designated hitter number two, Jake Scott. And Jake Scott struck out to lead off the second inning. Pop 
popped up on the right side. First baseman Crabtree runs into the bullpen fence down there, running out of room, and it's 0-1. Oh Popped up on the infield. Second baseman Morrill under it. Makes a catch for the second out. Third baseman number 36, Elijah Simone. Here's Elijah Simone, walked in the second inning and stole a base. Curve ball. Where's it giving the corner on that one? It's 0 and 1. Another pop up to second. Morrill makes that catch and another 1 2 3 inning for Warzik. We go to the fifth. New Orleans 2, HBU nothing. Here on the Husky Sports Network. At Houston Federal Credit Union, we're dedicated to our members, our communities, and now the students, faculty, and employees of Houston Baptist University. From checking and savings accounts to loans, IRAs, money markets, and other financial tools, HFCU is ready to serve the HBU Huskies and their fans. Learn more today. Call 866-OUR-HFCU or log on to HoustonFCU.org. Houston Federal Credit Union and the HBU Huskies, that's a doggone good team. Houston Federal Credit Union is federally insured by NCUA. Daddy, where do babies come from? Uh, well, uh... Honey? Mommy went to the store. Oh, well, you see, um... Well, there's a mommy and a daddy, right? Right. And see, when they call GEICO, uh, they could save a bunch of money on car insurance. Oh, really? And that makes them happy? Yes, that makes them very happy. That's good. Yeah. Well, I'm glad we could have this talk, sunshine. <laughs> GEICO, because saving 15% or more on car insurance is always a great answer. Darren Willis to lead it off against Brady Batten here in the top of the fifth inning. Leading off the fifth for the privateers, the shortstop, number three, Darren Willis. Willis grounded out to short to lead off the third inning his first time up. Ground ball to third and off of Simone. Goes into left field. A leadoff base runner for the Privateers. Designated hitter number 12, Colin Morrill. Back to the top of the order in Colin Morrill. It's one for two. Grounded out to short in the first inning. Singled in the third. Makes a strike on the slider from Batten. Simone in on the edge of the grass. Throw over to first. Willis four for six on stolen base attempts this year. Second on the team to Jay Robinson, who has eight. The 0 1 pitch. Ground ball behind the bag at second. Depreda Johnson flips it to Fitzgerald for one. So the Huskies get the lead runner. Morrill reaches on the fielder's choice. Third 
Third baseman, number four, Owen McGee. That brings up Owen McGee. One for two, singled and scored in the first inning, flat out to center in the third. Fastball misses away, and it's 1-0. and Two-nothing privateers, top of the fifth inning. Slider misses down and away, 2-0. Two, two runs, four hits, no errors for UNO. No runs, one hit, two errors for HBU. Fastball misses down and in. In there for strike one. Low and away and ball four to McGee. First walk issued by right Batten today. Now runners at first and second for Pierce Howard with one out. Howard, 0 for 2, struck out in the first inning, reached on an error in the third. Chops it foul. Swing and a miss, and it's 0-2. Batten sets, checks the runner at second, now the 0-2 pitch. Howard fouls it back. Chopper foul. Count remains 0 and 2 on Howard. Another 0 2 from Batten. Howard. Stays alive again, fouling it off. Down in the dirt, swing and a miss by Howard with runners on. Doesn't have to be a play with it getting away from Voller. Center fielder number 23. That's out number two. Fourth strikeout for Batten. Brings up Oren Vayon with two on and two out. Privateers leading 2 nothing. Vayon, RBI triple in the first inning. Struck out to in the third. Fastball low and away as Madden passes 80 pitches for the game.
breaking ball swung on and missed. Fastball misses low, two and one. Batting into the stretch and a two one pitch. Bayon with a fly ball to left, Halloran going back. That one. Will hold up and makes the catch for the third out. Privateers leave a pair on. We go to the bottom of the fifth. New Orleans 2, HBU nothing here on the Husky HBU Sports Network. Tammy and I have been going steady since high school. Tammy and Tommy, two peas in a pod, as they say. We have all the same friends. We like all the same things. I mean, we practically even have the same name. But there's one thing we could just never agree on. Soda. <sighs> I have been begging him all these years to just try Pepsi, and I knew he would change his tune. Yeah, yeah. So, finally, I had him take the Pepsi taste challenge. And go on, tell him what you told me, Tommy. <sighs> I'm a Pepsi man. Mmm. Right? Gosh, isn't Pepsi so good? I tell you what, I don't know why I didn't try it sooner. Me neither. It's so crisp and refreshing and bubbly. Like me. Like you. I'm always right. She's always right. <laughs> All across the South, people are choosing the great taste of Pepsi. Take the Pepsi Taste Challenge and let your taste decide. <laughs> Eric Voller to lead it off against Brian Warzik here in the bottom of the fifth inning. Be followed by Jack Fitzgerald, then back to the top of the order with Tyler DePreda Johnson. Voller struck out back in the second inning, his first time up. Fastball misses inside. It's one and zero. Chopper foul. Morzik with a 1 1 pitch. And that's up high for ball two. Try to check his swing. Could not, and now it's 2 and 2. Two two pitch. Chopper show, slowly to short. Willis charging. The throw pulls Crabtree off the bag, but he makes the tag. For round number one. Second baseman number ten, Jack Fitzgerald. Now to be Jack Fitzgerald. Walked his first time up back in the second inning. One out and the base is empty here in the bottom of the fifth. Squares to bunt, bunts it up the third baseline. McGee charging, the throw to first for the second out. Jack bunted that one a little bit too hard. Otherwise, it was a good idea. 
The shortstop, number three, Tyler DePreta Johnson. Enemy Tyler DePreta Johnson. It's one for two. Singled in the first inning. Only hit of the game for the Huskies. Leadoff single. Then his fielder's choice grounder ended the second. Pitch misses outside. It's 1-0. Down and in, 2 0. When Fitzgerald walked, after that, Morzik has retired the last nine batters he's faced. That's down and in to, to Predator Johnson, and it's 3 0. That's down and in, a four pitch walk to Depreta Johnson. Fourth walk of the game issued by Warzik. Center fielder number 27, Jonathan Dukoff. Two out base runner brings up Jonathan Dukoff. Sacrifice bunt in the first inning, grounded out to short to lead off the third. This one driven into left, and that's going to be cut off by Robinson. DePreta Johnson's going to go into third, and Dukoff into second with a double. Dukoff with his 10th double of the Spencer season, Halloran. second on the team to this man, Spencer Halloran. Spencer with 14 doubles, Jonathan now with 10. Spencer up with two outs and runners at second and third. Huskies trailing by two. Spencer is 0 for 2. Flied out to center in the first inning. Popped up to second in the third. Curveball misses up. So 81st pitch of the game for Warzik. 43 have been for strikes. Depreta Johnson. Dancing off a third, gets Warzik's attention as he steps off. McGee not holding him on. No breaking ball in there for strike one to Halloran. Warzik sets at the belt. A 1-1 pitch. Halloran swings and misses. Count now 1-2 and two with two outs. DePreta Johnson at third, Dukoff at second. Huskies trailing 2-0, bottom of the fifth. Orzik delivers. Breaking ball and a ground ball to short. Willis has it. The throw to first for the out. Huskies strand another pair here in the fifth. UNO leads it 2 nothing as we go to the sixth here on the Husky Sports Network. not just big wins. It's success in the classroom. And being engaged with service. Family. Passion. Integrity. Overcoming adversity. Hard work and dedication. Bettering people around you. Striving for excellence. Leadership and competition. On our campuses. And in our communities. We are South and Strong. At the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute, we're dedicated to the dedicated. 
who lace up before sunrise, who don't let a hard hit keep them down, who want the ball when the game's on the line. So team up with the Memorial Hermann Ironman Sports Medicine Institute at Texas Medical Center Memorial City or the Woodlands, where our affiliated surgeons, specialists, and physical therapists offer all athletes the elite care they need to forge ahead. Bo Bratton deleted off against Brady Batten here in the top of the sixth inning. Catcher number 24, Bo Bratton. First pitch on the way. Strike on the outside corner. Bratton one for two. Grounded out to third in the first inning. Then doubled the lead off the fourth and came around to score. There's a Bouncing ball to Depreta Johnson. Comes back behind second. Makes the throw to first for the first out. Left fielder number two, Jay Robinson. Now here's Jay Robinson. 0 for 1. Flat out to left in the second inning. Sacrifice bunt back in the fourth. And that... Came on the heels of the double by Bratton and the sacrifice fly got in the second run. Here's a chopper to third. Simone throw over to first for round number two. That'll be the first baseman, first baseman Scott Crabtree. Seven, Scott Crabtree. First pitch is outside. That one also misses. 2-0 oh to Crabtree. Crabtree grounded out the second in the second. Sack fly in the fourth. 90 pitches now for Batten. 63 strikes. Low and away. 3-0. and oh. Pitch was right on the outside corner, called ball four. So Crabtree, a two-out base runner. Second baseman, number 17, Devin Morrill. And that'll bring up Devin Morrill. Flying out to center to end the second. Struck out looking to end the fourth. Pops it up. Bowler and Pulshawn converging, and Jake will run into the UNO dugout. Play can't be made, and it's 0 and 1. A slider for a strike, 0 and 2. Swing and a miss, and it gets away from Voller. Morrill is going to make it to, set to first on the wild pitch as the runner moves up to second. Strikeout wild pitch. Keeps two runners on Shortstop, with two outs three, for Darren, Darren Willis. Willis. Willis grounded out to short to lead off the third. Reached on an error to lead off the fifth. Fastball fouled away. And 
there's a drive into left field. Halloran charging. And the runner being waved home. The throw is in time to nail the runner at the plate for the final out. Ran through a stop sign. The Huskies catch a break. And we go to the bottom of the sixth inning. UNO 2. HBU nothing here on the Husky Sports Network. Free donut cards coming out there, Kurt. If you drive around in Texas, dude, you could be a polluter, and that's just rude. But there's a way to help keep the air clean. Got to take care of your machine. It's the one with wheels, speedometer. This message goes out to both the sexes. Take care of your cars. Drive clean across Texas. Keep your engine tuned. Keep air in the tires. Make friends with a mechanic. That's a guy with pliers. Please don't speed. That pollutes to the max. Don't sit there, and I'll turn it off. Relax. Read the paper. And meditate. Combine errands if you can. Carpool. Fill up with gas after dark when it's cool. If you see some car spit and now smoke the mess and with the air, and that's no joke. The message is simple. It shouldn't perplex us. Take care of your car. Drive clean across Texas. It doesn't matter if you drive a Ford or a Lexus. Take care of your car. Drive clean across Texas. Brought to you by the Texas Department of Transportation and the Texas Natural Resource Conservation Commission. Drive clean across Texas. Be Matt Heck to lead it off Being against Brian Warzig. Right fielder, number five, Matt Heck. Heck 0 for 1. Walked in the first inning, struck out to end the third. First pitch from Brian Warzig. It's a breaking ball up. Huskies only have two hits to this point, but have had base runners. Heck swings and misses. It's one and one. Huskies left two on in the first, two more in the second, then two in the fifth. One one pitch is fouled away. Off-speed pitch, driven into left. Heck on with the leadoff single. Brings up Jake Pulshan. First baseman, number 40, Jake Pulshan. Jake flied out to left to end the first inning. Struck out to lead off the fourth. Breaking ball outside corner for strike one. Heck leads away from first. Warzik comes set. Throw over. Heck 11 for 15. Stolen base department this season. Second on the team to Spencer Halloran, who has 14 in 19 attempts. Now the 0-1, a fastball in there for strike two. 90th pitch of the game for Warzik. Throwing 51 for strikes. The 0-2 pitch, the breaking ball swung on and missed. Fifth strikeout of the game for Warzik. That brings up Jake Scott with one out. Jake 
Jake struck out the lead off the second. Popped up to second in the fourth. Runner goes, swinging a miss, a pitch down the dirt, double clutch by the catcher Bratton. And Heck is in there with a stolen base. So Heck now 12 of 16 on the season. Runner at second with one out. The 0 1 pitch. Fastball up and away. Now the 1 1. A breaking ball low and away. Orzik steps off. Two and one the count on Scott. One out in the bottom of the sixth inning. Huskies trailing two nothing. Pitch on the way and Scott fouls it away and evens the count. Two-two pitch, runner goes. And a swing and a foul ball. Heck got a great jump off of second. Orzik sets, checks Heck at second. Now another 2-2 pitch and a breaking ball outside. Full count on Scott. Three two on the way. A ground ball through the left side for a base hit. Heck being waved home. The throw by Robinson is not in time. It's cut off. And the Huskies on the board on the RBI single by Jake Scott. Third baseman number 36, Elijah Simone. So now it's two to one, bottom of the sixth inning. Now I bring up Elijah Simone. Eli walked in the second inning, popped up to second to end the fourth.
First pitch down and in. 1 and 0. Oh. One hundredth pitch of the game coming up for Warzik. This one driven into center. Vayon is there. Makes a catch for the second out. The wind blowing in. I got getting help on those today. Catcher number 35, Eric Voller. Here's the catcher, Eric Voller. 0 for 2, struck out in the second inning. Rounded out to short to lead off the fifth. So 100 pitches for Warzik, 57 for strikes. First pitch to Voller is a breaking ball in there for a strike. There's action in the Privateers bullpen. Can't see who is down there. The 0 1 pitch, a breaking ball down and in. 1 and 1 to Voller, two outs, runner on first. Jake Scott putting the Huskies on the board with an RBI single. The 1 1, that is inside, 2 and 1. Swing and a miss. Pitch was up and away. The fastball. Now the count evens up at two. Two two pitch. Runner goes. Pop up into shallow right field. Howard coming in, and he won't get there. Single for Voller. And Jake Scott goes all the way to third. Second baseman number 10, Jack Fitzgerald. So now the batter's Jack Fitzgerald. And I have a visit out to the mound and see if. Warzik stays in the game or if they're going to make a change. Warzik has thrown 105 pitches. There's now two outs and runners on the corners. So runners on the corners. Jack Fitzgerald at the plate with two down. Huskies trailing by a run here in the sixth inning. Jack 0 for 2. Excuse me, 0 for 1. Walked in the second inning. Grounded out the third and the fifth. Breaking ball in there for strike one. Oh, one pitch. Fitzgerald swings and misses. Falling behind in the count.
Oh, and to the count on Fitzgerald. Voller leads away from first. Scott over at third. Voller leaves early. Throw to first, and they're going to let Voller have second. The stolen base for Voller. Husky's going to try the double steal, but privateers let him have it instead of risking Scott coming home with a tying run. So now runners at second and third. No two count on Fitzgerald. Orzik with the pitch, and that one's up high for ball one. The one, two, and Fitzgerald swings and misses for strike three. The Huskies leave a pair on, but score one. And UNO leads it 2-1 as we go to the seventh here on the Husky Sports Network. Hey, Husky fans, stop by your neighborhood Shipley Donuts for hot glazed donuts, kolaches, fresh brewed coffee, and iced coffee. Shipley Donuts is conveniently Look, located... Look! Someone left their magical the lamp behind! Greetings! I am the super magical genie of the lamp. I'm here to grant you any wish you'd like, with the exception of more wishes, eternal life, or property tax advice. Okay, I want a refreshing cola with less sugar and real cola taste. Seriously? That's it? Yeah, that would be unbelievable. Well, it already exists. It's called Pepsi Next. It has real cola taste and 60% less sugar. It's delicious. Plus, you can find it almost anywhere. You don't understand, my dear. I can do anything. I can give you x-ray vision or an island made of jelly beans. Or how about a condo in outer space? You're right. I should think bigger. Yes, much bigger. Can I have an ice-cold Pepsi Next in a huge glass with lots of ice? <sighs> Okay, your wish is my command. Pepsi Next. Real cola taste. 60% less sugar. Drink it to believe it. Visit us at facebook.com slash Pepsi Next. Ooh, what about a twisty straw made of rainbows? Top of the seventh inning here at Husky Field. Russ Renault welcoming you in on YouTube, the Husky Sports Network, the series finale. Rubber match between HBU and UNO. Privateers on top right now, two to one. Brady Batten to face the top of the order for UNO and Colin Morrill. Owen McGee and Pierce Howard. Designated hitter number 12, Colin Morrill. Morrill one for three, grounded out to short in the first inning, singled in the third, reached on a fielder's choice in the fifth. Batten skips a fastball in front of the plate. Off-speed pitch away, and it's 2-0. and oh. Ground ball up the middle. Lead-off singer for Morrill here in the seventh. Third baseman, number four, Owen McGee. So now it's Owen McGee with leadoff runner on at first. 100 pitches now for Batten. He's thrown 69 for strikes. That's up and in for ball one. McGee, one for two. Singled and scored in the first inning. Flied out to center in the third and walked in the fifth. Simone on the edge of the grass at third. McGee pops it up on the infield. 
to Preda Johnson there. Makes the catch for round number one. So now it's Pierce Howard. The right fielder, number 35, Pierce Howard. It's 0 for 3, struck out in the first inning. Reached on an error in the third and struck out in the fifth. Slider, strike on the outside corner. Check in on the Southland Conference scoreboard this half inning. Didn't get to it last inning. So we'll make up for it. Batten comes set. The you 0-1 know, pitch. Taken up high. Northwestern State and Incarnate Word tied up 9-9, top of the eighth inning. First game of a doubleheader in San Antonio. Stephen F. Austin leading Nichols 4-0, top of the seventh. First game of a doubleheader in Nacogdoches. 1-1 one -one pitch. Fly ball into center. Duke off there. Jonathan will squeeze it for round number two. Abilene Christian leading Central Arkansas 4-3, to top of the third inning in Abilene. Just about to get underway in Huntsville, southeastern Louisiana at Sam Houston State. Non-conference play, Lamar is at TCU at 3.30. At 4 o'clock, McNeese is at Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Here's Oren Vayon. Linked at the first pitch and a pop up to the right side. Jack Fitzgerald there makes the catch for the third out. So leadoff single, no harm done. We go to the seventh inning stretch. UNO2, right, HB1 here on the Husky Sports it Network. Loose. The seventh inning stretch. Are you looking for a totally free checking account? Houston Federal Credit Union has it, and it's packed with free services like mobile banking with person-to-person -person transfers and mobile bill pay. And Houston Federal Credit Union is a proud supporter of HBU Athletics. So stop by their office at 6808 Bentliff Drive and experience a better way of banking. Visit HoustonFCU.org for more information. Houston Federal Credit Union, the official credit union of HBU. Houston Federal Credit Union is federally insured by NCUA. You just hit the flavor mother load. Guaranteed delicious. Firehouse subs are packed beyond belief with steaming hot premium meats and cheeses. Starting at only $5.49, it's gourmet subs without the gourmet prices. Just look at our club on the sub. And by look, he means try. Smoked turkey breast, Virginia honey ham, melty Monterey Jack, and bacon -y bacon. Firehouse subs. Starting at only $5.49. One bite, one taste, you're hooked. New pitcher for the privateers as we go to the bottom of the seventh inning. Going to be junior right hander John Barr, six foot, 190 pounds from Waynesboro, Pennsylvania, Northwest Florida State. Making his 23rd appearance, he came into this series 4 and 3, 2.59 ERA, and given up 21 runs on 14 of them earned on 38 hits, 46 strikeouts, 19 walks, and 48 and two thirds innings. Did pitch two and two thirds yesterday, shut out the Huskies, no hits, a strikeout, and a walk in game one yesterday. Brayson Smith went six and a third in game one. Then Barr came on to finish it off. Face the top of the order with Tyler Depreta Johnson coming up. Depreta Johnson, one for two against Warzik. Singled in the first inning. Reached a yeah, fielder's choice grounder that ended the second, then walked in the fifth. Now facing Barr. 
Fastball on the outside corner for strike one. That is up and in. One and one. Slider inside corner. One and two to Depreta Johnson. The one two pitch popped up on the right side. Howard and Morrill converging. Morrill takes over, makes the catch for the first out. Center fielder number 27, Jonathan Dukoff. Now to bring up Jonathan Dukoff, one for three, make that one for two, sacrifice bunt in the first inning, grounded out to short in the third, and then a double in the fifth. Breaking ball for a strike. The 0-1 from Barnes, a fastball that misses away. And a strike in there for a one and two count. Final line on Warzik. Gave up one run on five hits. Six strikeouts and four walks in six innings. Warzik threw 109 pitches with 63 of them for strikes. Dukov couldn't lay off that pitch up and in. Strikeout for Barr for out number two. Left fielder number 14, Spencer Halloran. There's Spencer Halloran. 0 for 3, flied out to center in the first inning, popped up to second in the third, and grounded out to short to in the fifth. First pitch swinging and a foul ball. It's in there for a strike, and Halloran falls behind 0-2. Hey, Bar winds and delivers. That pitch is grounded back up the middle. Willis gets to it. The throw is not in time. Infield single for Halloran. So Spencer aboard with Matt Hack coming up. Right fielder number five, Matt Hack. Matt's one for two, walked in the first inning, struck out to win the third, singled the lead off the sixth, stole a base, and came around to score. Pitch misses away, 1-0. So Halloran, leading base stealer for the Huskies, 14 for 19. Pitch is also away, 2-0. Pitch low and away, 3-0 to Heck. What? 
That pitch on the inside corner for a strike. Runner goes, swing and a miss, throw down to second, is not in time. Halloran has his 15th stolen base of the season. Now a 3-2 and two count on Heck. Count is full with two outs and Halloran at second base. Barr looks in, now comes set and checks Halloran at second. So now Bratton will go out to the mound. So full count with two outs. Halloran, the base runner at second. Huskies trailing 2-1, bottom of the seventh inning. Bar comes set. Now the 3-2 pitch. Heck with a chopper towards the Huskies' dugout. Matt digs back in. Now Barr steps off. Heck steps out. Barr pauses at the belt. 3-2 on the way. Heck with a ground ball towards third. McGee has it. Long throw is just in time to get Heck for the third out. We go to the eighth inning. UNO 2, HBU 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. At Raising Cane's, we know lots of people want the recipe for our delicious cane sauce. But we'll take the secret to our graves. You know, our founder, Todd Graves. He's the guy who figured out which blend of spices makes every drop of sauce totally tasty. Of course, it helps that our cane sauce is made fresh every single day, no matter what. And Todd's also the guy who won't spill a secret recipe. But you can dip in it all you like. Raising Cane's, one love. Rolling up on a cheap price feels good, but cheap comes with risk. Heart surgeons, pilots, no one hires a cheap one of them. Fact is, certain things must be done right. Installing electricity in Houston schools and hospitals needs to be built with manpower that spent 10,000 hours training to do their job. So for heart surgeons to do their job, we must do ours. Skilled labor isn't cheap, and cheap labor isn't all that skilled. The time is now to hire IBW electricians. Be Bo Bratton deleted off against Brady Batten here at the top of the eighth inning. Bratton grounded out the third to end the first inning. Led off the fourth with a double and scored. Then grounded out the short in the sixth. Then drives this one into right. Heck coming in, makes a catch for round number one. That'll be Jay Robinson. Robinson 0 for 2. Flight out the left in the Jay second Robinson. inning. Sacrifice bunt in the fourth. Grounded out to third in the sixth.
square into Bunn. Takes a slider down and in. 1-0. and oh. <laughs> Chopper. Wide of third. 1-1 one one count on Robinson. J.T. Newton warming up in the Huskies' bullpen. Slider high. Two and one. That's the 110th pitch of the game for Brady. Fouled away for a 2-2 count. Final scoring game one of softball series at Sam Houston State. Bearcats took that one by a one nothing score. And there's a ground ball, and that is back up the middle for a base hit for Robinson. And in game two in that softball matchup, the Huskies had jumped out to a 3 0 lead, but the Bearcats, still batting in the bottom of the fifth, have scored five times, the lead at 5 3. So one-out base runner. Scott Crabtree at the plate. Crabtree 0 for 1. Grounded out to second in the second inning. Sacrifice fly in the fourth and then walked in the sixth. Just thrown out at the plate to end the sixth inning. Pitch misses outside and it's 1-0. and Tried to score on a single by Willis. Robinson 8 for 13 on stolen base attempts this year. There's a foul out of play, and it's 1 and 1. Pitch low and away, two balls and a strike to Crabtree. Batten delivers, and there's a fly ball into shallow left center field. Halloran coming in, makes the catch. Robinson will have to scamper back to first. Second baseman, number 17, Devin Morrill. There's Devin Morrill. 0 for 3, flat out the center in the second. Struck out to end the fourth, and then struck out in the sixth. Pitches up high for a ball one. Pitch down and in, 2-0. and oh. Hits the inside corner for strike one. Two on pitch from Batten. Misses low, and then now it's three and one. Three one pitch. Inside corner, and the count goes full to Morrill.
Count is full with two outs. Robinson will be on the move on the pitch. Payoff pitch on the way. Misses low and away for ball four. Shortstop, number three, Darren Willis. And that's going to be it for Brady Batten as head coach Jared Moon comes out to make the change. We'll tell you about the Huskies' new pitcher when we come back here on the Husky Sports Network. Are you a graduate of Houston Baptist University? Did you know the value of your degree increases when you actively participate in the HBU Alumni Association? Your Alumni Association actively supports the growth, retention, and ranking of our school by our scholarship efforts. Husky Alumni Network volunteers actively work to recruit the best and brightest to HBU, and we promote and support programs intended to build a growing network of people committed to quality, higher Christian education through our alumni scholarship efforts. We also work to strengthen the bond between our university and the community, and we're your connection to over 18,000 fellow alumni, mostly in and around the Houston metro area. Log on to learn more about our mission and your privileges and benefits at hbu.edu slash alumni. And find us via social media on Facebook at the Houston Baptist University Alumni Association page and on Twitter and Instagram at hbu underscore alumni. But no matter how you do it, connect with the HBU Alumni Association because a strong alumni base equals a strong HBU. New pitcher, end of the game for HBU. Junior right-hander JT Newton. 6'1", 210 pounds from Bangs, Texas and Bangs High School. JT making his team leading 21st appearance. He's 2-5, and 8.65 ERA, 4 saves. Giving up 26 runs, 25 earned on 37 hits. 19 strikeouts, 18 walks in 26 innings. So JT enters the game with Robinson in second, Morrill at first with two outs, and Dar Darren Willis at the plate. Willis, one for three, grounded out to short to lead off the third inning, reached on an error to lead off the fifth, and singled in the sixth. So Robinson singled with one out. Crabtree flied out to left. Then Batten walked Morrill. So two on and two out. And Willis at the plate. JT from the stretch looks in to Voller. Gives a nod, checks the runner at second. First pitch to Willis. It's a strike on the outside corner. Here's the 0-1. Low and away. Backhanded stop by Voller. Brady Batten threw 122 pitches. Gave up two runs on seven hits. Five strikeouts and three walks and seven and two-thirds. The runners on base, it's responsibility. Now the 1-1. One, one. Misses away. Two balls and one strike. Two on pitch. Misses away with a fastball. New Orleans leading 2-1. Top of the eighth inning. Here in Houston, game three of the Southland Conference Series. It's been split a game apiece with a doubleheader yesterday.
Newton with a 3-1. This is low for ball four to load the bases. Now we go back to the top of the order with Colin Morrill. Designated hitter number 12, Colin Morrill. Morrill two for four. Grounded out to short in the first inning. Singled in the third. Reached on a fielder's choice in the fifth and singled in the seventh. Takes the first pitch for a strike at the knees. Slider misses away and it's one and one. Up and in, two balls and one strike. Newton delivers, and a strike on the inside corner at the knees. And leaving the count on Morrill. So Robinson at third, Morrill at second. That's Devin Morrill, Willis at first, Colin Morrill at the plate. A 2-2 pitch from Newton. High chopper over the mound. Newton fields it and throws to pull Sean, covering it first for the third out. Scary play, and... Pulshawn and Morrill collide. And now Huskies get out of the inning. We go to the bottom of the eighth. UNO 2, HBU 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. Excuse me, is that your Diet Pepsi? Sophia Vergara. Hi, yeah, I just, uh, <clears throat> this is my Diet Pepsi. I love Diet Pepsi. Do you love every sip? Uh, nothing is better than drinking a refreshing Diet Pepsi and just reveling in its crisp, delicious taste. Well, you know what they say. If you love something, let it go. And if it comes back, it was meant to be. So I should set this Diet Pepsi free and wait for it to come back. Then it'll be more delicious than ever. Would you hold my Diet Pepsi for me? I'd love to. Thank you. What happens now? Go, get out of here. It can't come back to you if you're standing next to it. Thanks, Sophia. I'll wait for you, Diet Pepsi. The only thing better than an ice cold Diet Pepsi is a free ice cold Diet Pepsi. Love every sip at dietpepsi.com. Here's a pinch hitter to lead it off for the Huskies. The junior Grant Buck facing Barr. Takes strike one. Buck from Carlsbad, California, Carlsbad High School. Takes that pitch outside, and it's one and one. Huskies trailing at 2-1, bottom of the eighth inning. Ground ball, that is foul. So it's one and two. Buck two for four with the go ahead RBI double yesterday. Also scored a run. A one for two in game one. And a pinch hit roll. So the count's one and two. 
Barr with the pitch. A swing and a miss by Buck for round number one. Designated hitter number two, Jake Scott. Now to bring up Jake Scott. One out and the base is empty. Jake with an RBI single his last time up in the sixth inning. Put the Huskies on the board and cut the Privateers lead to two to one. He popped up to second in the fourth inning. Struck out the lead off the second. Takes the first pitch up high for ball one. That one's up and in. Almost hits him. 2-0 to Scott. Up high again. Inside and a four pitch walk to Scott. Brings up Elijah Simone. Elijah Simone. Eli 0 for 2, walked in the second inning, popped up to second in the fourth, and flied out to center in the sixth. Signs being given by head coach Jared Moon down at third base. Barr working from the stretch now. First pitch to Simone is in the dirt, but blocked by Bratton. The 1 0 pitch, high for ball two. Two-o pitch from Barr. The strike on the outside corner. Two-one, up high for ball three. Three one pitch. Simone fouls it away. And the count goes full. Three two pitch. Simone swings and misses. For out number two. I'll have a pinch hitter for Eric Voller. Be junior Anthony Jones. Attention please, pitch hitting for the Huskies. Number one, Anthony Jones. Anthony from Missouri City, Ridgepoint High School. Anthony started game one yesterday and went 0 for 2. Up in a big spot here. Takes strike one from Barr.
Scott the runner at first with two outs here in the bottom of the eighth. Ground ball to short. Fielded by Willis. Flipped to second for the third out. We go to the ninth inning. UNO2, HB1 here on the Husky Sports Network. The real story is I'm in here every morning and uh, have sampled just about every kolache that they make here. Bacon, egg, and cheese on wheat for me, and then the rest is for the office. So, yes, I'll pick up every Friday. I'll stop by here and pick up some for my group. Well, I used to think it was just fruit-filled stuff, and then I came here, and there's eggs and bacon and cheese and all kinds of good stuff in there. It's like a whole breakfast and a bun. It's great. <laughs> it's always a good thing if you can eat healthy and not know it. <laughs> when you drive down the street looking for something to eat, you're going to pass five places to buy a sandwich, six places to buy a burger. There's only one place you can get a kolache, and that's Kolache Factory. It's delicious. You're going to have people that try to copy you, but they're not going to do it as well. We know what we're doing. We've been doing it for 25 years. We do it the best, and our success proves that. Houston's own Kalachi Factory, the freshest, highest quality, best-tasting kolaches in town. Over 50 Houston-area locations and a proud partner of HBU Athletics. Defensive changes for the Huskies here in the top of the ninth inning. Kerry Jones takes the place of Grant Buck and goes over to first. Now catching for the Huskies is Jeremy Simone. Kerry Jones and on at catcher number 13, Jeremy Simone. Leading off the ninth for the Privateers, number four, the third baseman, Owen McGee. So 2-3-4 due up for the Privateers against J.T. Newton. Owen McGee to lead it off. Takes pitch inside for a ball. McGee one for three. Singled and scored in the first inning. Flying out the center in the third. Walked in the fifth. Popped up to short in the seventh. Up high for ball two. So your defense, Kerry Jones at first, Fitzgerald at second, DePreda Johnson at short, Elijah Simone at third base, Jeremy Simone doing the catching, Halloran in left, Dukoff center, Heck in right. Pitch fouled away, and it's two and one. New Orleans leading 2 1, top of the ninth inning. Two on pitch, grounded to short. DePreda Johnson with a backhand. Fire to first in time for out number one. Right fielder number 35, Pierce Howard. Tyler, the shortstop, came into this series. With 201 total chances defensively, only one error. Fantastic numbers for a shortstop. That pitch, strike one on the outside corner to Pierce Howard. Howard 0 for 4, struck out in the first inning, reached on an error in the third, struck out in the fifth, find out the center in the seventh. Facing Newton for the first time. And a slider fouled away, and JT ahead in the count 0 2. Tyler had five chances in game two yesterday three putouts and, an ass and two assists. The 0 2 pitch, ground ball to short. Preda Johnson has it. Loads, fires to first in time for out number two. Just to continue that thought on Tyler, five chances in game one yesterday, two so put outs and three assists, so 10 total chances goal. yesterday. So 211 coming into today. He's had an assist on both plays in this inning. That'll bring up Oren Vayon. 
And Tyler, one put out, six assists today. So 217 total chances. Vayon fouls away the first pitch. Kerry Jones giving chase and he'll get out of play. Vayon one for four. Tripled and scored. RBI triple in the first inning. Struck out in the third. Flied out the left in the fifth and popped up to second to in the seventh. Breaking ball just misses inside. One and one. Got an email from my friend of Vanderbilt, Andrew Pate, their sports information director. Shortstop Connor Kaiser came into the weekend, no errors, 164 chances. So not as many chances as, as Tyler, but hasn't made an error all season. The 1-1 pitch to Vea. Fly ball deep to left center field, and that ball is off the wall. Halloran will get it in. Vayon makes a big turn at second. Throw to second, and he's barely safe. Kerry Jones came over to cover from first base with Fitzgerald and DePreta Johnson going out. And they almost had Vayon. It's going to be a two-out double. Catcher number 24, Bo Halloran did a good job to get that one back in. And alertly, Kerry Jones came over to cover second base. Preda Johnson almost nailed it. So here is Bo Bratton. One for four. Grounded out to third to end the first inning. Lead off double and scored in the fourth, and that is the difference in the ball game. Grounded out to short in the sixth inning. Flying out to right in the eighth. This is low and away, 1-0. and oh. One zero pitch, Bratton fouls it off. So Bratton doubled to right to lead off the fourth inning. Went to third on a sacrifice bunt by Robinson, and scored on the sacrifice fly by Crabtree. That put the Privateers up two to nothing at the time. Husky scored a run in the bottom of the sixth inning to cut it to two to one where we are here in the top of the ninth. Runner at second and two outs. Breaking ball and a grounder to second. Fitzgerald gloves it. The throw over to first in time for the third out. We go to the bottom of the ninth. New Orleans 2, HBU 1 here on the Husky Sports Network. isn't what it used to be. By the time you get where you're going, you've been through it all. So what if you knew there was a hotel that understands how hard your journey's been and spends all its time making up for it? At Doubletree by Hilton, with more than 325 wonderful destinations around the world, we welcome our guests with a warm chocolate chip cookie. Our cookie serves as a symbol of our commitment to turn every little detail of your stay into a delight. Preparing every comfort with care, making every touch special, and every gesture true. Giving that extra attention to the simple things. Bringing humanity back to business and leisure travel. So you can reconnect, relax, play, focus, smile. Welcome to Doubletree by Hilton. Where the little things mean everything.
bottom of the ninth inning here in the Southland Conference Series finale between HBU and New Orleans. Huskies trailing two to one and a new pitcher into the game for UNO. It's gonna be sophomore right-hander Reeves Martin from Tampa, Florida, Northwest Florida State. Saw Martin yesterday, pitched in game two. No runs, one hit in two thirds of an inning yesterday. Had these numbers coming into the series. It's now his 22nd appearance. One and four with a 3.29 ERA, six saves, giving up 14 runs, 12 of them, excuse me, 16 runs, 14 earned on 35 hits, 42 strikeouts and 12 walks and 38 in a third inning, so now 39 innings. He'll face Jack Fitzgerald to lead it off for HBU. And Martin misses with ball one. A nine, one, and two due up for HBU. That misses down and in, two and zero to Fitzgerald. Jack is 0 for 2, walked in the second inning, grounded out to third in the fifth, struck out in the sixth. 2-0 pitch, popped up sky high, Devin Morrill under it. Makes the catch for the first out. So here Shots is the leadoff hitter, Tyler DePrenda Johnson. Johnson. One for three today. Singled in the first inning. Fielder's choice grounder ended the second. Walked in the fifth and popped up to second in the seventh. Low and away for ball one. Drilled down the left field line. That's going to get into the corner. DePrenda Johnson heading for second. Robinson gets it back in, but Tyler DePrenda Johnson with a one out double here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Center fielder number 27, Jonathan Dukoff. Ninth double of the season for DePrenda Johnson. Puts a runner in scoring position for the Huskies, trailing two to one. Now to bring up Jonathan Dukal. Jonathan one for three. Sacrifice bunt in the first inning. Grounded out to short to lead off the third. Double in the fifth. Struck out in the seventh. Martin's first pitch is swung on and fouled away. Oh, and one the count on Dukal. Martin sets, checks DePrenda Johnson at second. The 0 1 and a fastball down for ball one. The 1-1, one, one. and that's down. Bratton blocks it. Kept it near him, and DePreda Johnson couldn't move up on the play. Two and one. Bratton's done a good job back there today. Martin sets. Now the 2 1 pitch. Fouled away. Even the count. Two 
Dukov steps back in. Fred Johnson at second. Two and two the count with one out. Martin with the pitch. Dukov swings and misses for the second out. Last fielder, number 14, Spencer Halloran. So Spencer Halloran comes up. Huskies down a run with two down in the bottom of the ninth. A runner at second. Halloran one for four, flying out to center in the first inning, popped up to second in the third, grounded out to short in the fifth, and singled his last time up in the seventh. Ground ball to the left side, and the third baseman has it, throws to first, and that'll do it. Privateers take the series two games to one, win this one by a score of two to one. We'll wrap it up on the Huskies post game show coming up right after this. We know travel isn't what it used to be. By the time you get where you're going, you've been through it all. So what if you knew there was a hotel that understands how hard your journey's been and spends all its time making up for it? At Doubletree by Hilton, with more than 325 wonderful destinations around the world, we welcome our guests with a warm chocolate chip cookie. Our cookie serves as a symbol of our commitment to turn every little detail of your stay into a delight. Preparing every comfort with care, making every touch special, and every gesture true. Giving that extra attention to the simple things. Bringing humanity back to business and leisure travel. So you can reconnect, relax, play, focus, smile. Welcome to Doubletree by Hilton. Where the little things mean everything. Back here on the HVU Baseball postgame show. Turn down while they pray. Turn down while they pray. Here are the final totals. UNO. Two runs on eight hits, no errors. HBU one run, seven hits, two errors. Privateers now 21 and 28 overall on the season, 10 and 14 in Southland Conference play. HBU 22 and 26 overall, 14 and 10 in the league. Winning pitcher for the Privateers, Brian Warzik. Goes to three and two on the season, one run, five hits, six strikeouts, four walks, and six innings. He threw 109 pitches. And Reeves Martin getting the save, no runs, one hit. One strikeout, no walks, and one inning. Brady Vatten takes the loss for HBU. He goes to three and five. Gave up two runs on seven hits. Five strikeouts, three walks, and seven and two-thirds innings, throwing 122 pitches. JT Newton with one and one-third scoreless innings for HBU. Offensively for the Huskies, not much. Tyler DePreta Johnson, two for four with a double. He was left stranded second there in the ninth inning. Jake Scott drove in the only run for HBU, an RBI single. Matt Heck going one for three and scoring the Huskies' only run. Jonathan Dukoff doubled for HBU as well. And for the Privateers, Oren Vayon, two for five, had a double and drove in a run. Scott Crabtree drove in what proved to be the deciding run with a sack fly. And Colin Morrill went two for five. And Bo Bratton doubled and scored a run for the Privateers. We'll be back in action this weekend, this coming weekend. There is no midweek game this week for HBU due to finals. But we will be bringing you all the action as the Huskies take on Southland Conference leading Sam Houston State Friday, Saturday, and Sunday in Huntsville. That'll be on the Legacy Sports Network audio-only broadcast. You can catch all the action on HBUHuskies.com. It's been Russ Renault. Thanks for joining us on your Saturday and here on YouTube. Huskies 
will go to Huntsville next weekend to play the Bearcats, then back at home for the regular season finale against Stephen F. Austin. It's been Russ Renault. Thanks for joining us here on YouTube and the Husky Sports Network. Have Enjoy the rest of your weekend, everybody. You've been to HBU Husky Sports on the Husky Sports Network, powered by the Legacy Sports Network. These broadcasts are brought to you by the corporate sponsors of HBU Athletics, including Houston Federal Credit Union, the Memorial Hermann Healthcare System, Pepsi, Geico, Raising Canes, Kalachi Factory, and IBEW Local 716. That's going to wrap it up for now. So until we see you next time, so long and dogs up. This is the HBU Husky Sports Network.